Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Atlas. This is another daily update video for SafeMoon. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. Would love for you to be a part of this community. Hit the thumbs up like button. It's definitely greatly appreciated and it helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. And feel free to share this video on social media if you think other people would find this to be helpful as well. Or if they find it interesting or maybe you think that they'd like my channel in general. So I really appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Thank you so much for being here. And Please keep in mind, um, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, it's my own research, and I encourage you guys to do your own research. Taking a look at the actual charts here, we can see Bitcoin is down 0.65%. Ethereum is up 3.1%. BNB is up 5.31%. Doge is up 1.49%. Most of the board is actually looking in the green for a lot of the altcoins, altcoins being anything that's not actually Bitcoin itself. And we actually did see a big spike take place for that of SafeMoon, which I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to the charts here for you guys right now. So as you guys can take a look at this chart, sorry, I know I'm moving my webcam around a lot here, but as you guys can see, there was a nice little push rally that took place right here just a little bit ago, and the reason behind that was a liquidity move. So if I pull up Discord, as you guys can see, Papa, aka Thomas, is one of the lead developers for the SafeMoon core development team. He's done this previously in the past, and we do see a price movement going up whenever liquidity pool from version one goes over to version two. So because he was moving some of this, that constitutes what you guys saw in that big spike up, just to clarify with that. So he was in Discord and talking a lot about it. And these big drops that we saw recently here as well were some more of the large scale whales. We'll be talking more about that in just a second here. And <clears throat> the Safe Moon Twitter account did put out a tweet today saying, get ready for next Sunday. Why next Sunday? Well, because there's going to be another AMA. So we're really looking forward to seeing what the new information is going to be that they share with us one week from tomorrow, unless it's a different time of day for you guys. And if you guys want to check me out on Twitter, I'm at CryptoAtlasYT. Would love it if you guys come and check me out over on the Twitter side. Sometimes I'll make a post over on the subreddit for SafeMoon. I'm trying to remember what my Reddit username is. I think it's Atlas Official TV. I think it's that. Anyways, moving on. The top 100 cryptocurrencies according to CoinGecko. SafeMoon is currently at number 74. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys the relationship with that of Bitcoin. So maybe if you own Bitcoin, you're like, you know what? I want to buy some more SafeMoon. Is it worth it or not? Let's go ahead and see how this kind of responds in relationship to these. So yesterday, we were seeing a point of basically maximum potential in relationship to the last 30 days at least, meaning that you could get a lot more value using your safe, uh, using your Bitcoin to purchase SafeMoon than if you were to have done it, say, back on like July 18th. If we look at this from a 90-day perspective, we're actually at the lowest point from yesterday. So if today drops down even more, then it will have even more of a price reference between the two relationships. But as it is right now, it is very near that bottom. We're dating this all the way back to early May. So quite substantial in that regard. And um, something I want you guys to keep in mind is that Bitcoin has been on a rampant spree of price increase recently. In fact, it was showing consecutive daily green candles, the price going up, that we haven't seen since 2015. And even did an additional day of closure. So I'm not sure since the last time it was that we had even that many days of candle closure. So the fact that it's just slightly down on the charts, as you guys can see here, it's down 0.68%, 0.87%. We are in the last 30 minutes of the daily candle as of the time we're recording this video. So 30 minutes from now, whatever the price was at for Bitcoin, whether it was down, whether it was up, will signify if it was another red or a green day candle. Personally, I would rather end on a red candle so that there's the sentiment that, hey, it has the opportunity to continue to grow more because there was some pullback that did take place. Because if there's too many daily green candles, people start to get skeptical if it's going to be able to maintain that, right? So I would rather it be closing out slightly in the red so psychologically we can see keep going up more. And then hopefully we see it pull the rest of the market up as well. And so this is pretty cool. There are theories going around about the relationship between Bibby Palm and that of owl and the hoots and everything that's been talking about with that. So we got some main key points I want to share with you here. This is posted by Homo Cryptus. And it says alert, Safe Moon, Bibby Palm, Mira Labs experiment, 
your experience probably. I will start speaking from the 1st of August, it's time. So that means that he's saying something tomorrow. I will start from the beginning, the gradual reveal of a cryptic story. Now let's go back to building the future of ecology. Hashtag Owl House. Retweets are compulsory. So you guys, let me know in the comments if you feel that Mira Labs has any potential involvement in this and specifically in regards to these hoots that's been going on with these clues. Looking at Homo Cryptus's Twitter account, says founder at Mira Labs um, Experience or EXP, product advisor at Anote, music partner at Starbust, IT partner at BibbyPalm.com. So they have that relationship with Bibby Palm, with Mira Labs Experience or EXP, whatever it is. <clears throat> and they're talking about tomorrow, there's gonna be more information in regards to that a safe moon. I'll keep you guys posted on that too. Looking at Mirror Labs, Mirror Labs is an e-commerce and economic experiments to expedite the eco-evolution of Earth and its expansion in the cosmos. So I think that sounds pretty cool. It sounds like it's right up that kind of alley of a lot of the stuff that seems to be wanting to go on with cryptocurrency space. Mirror Labs actually down here. I just noticed this. So it says, currently in partnership with Bibby Palm, cough, cough, big incentives. I mean, there's some kind of a hint there. I literally just noticed that right now. We won't publicly launch our token. Private sale number one was success until the beta version of the first e-commerce platform for the earth is ready. Reminders, open detailed roadmap, available soon. Currently in partnerships with Bibby Palm, big incentives. So let's see what is really going to play out between the three of these. And they say Safe Moon, Bibby Palm, Mirror Labs. I was speaking from the 1st of August. So there's a relationship that seems to be going on there. Taking a look at the dominance for the whales, we can actually see here that by comparison to one day ago, instead of 18.61%, it has dropped down to 18.36%. And there's actually some pretty interesting revelations that are now coming out. And it makes sense. Like, I should have done a little bit more proper due diligence on this. But at the same time, you could also say the same thing and the way that this is being portrayed by Safe Moon Mark's website. And some people have tried reaching out to him. So let's go ahead and talk about that so there's another website that i've learned of which is safemoonwales.live which i'm going to actually bookmark that too and so this is trying to show wallet addresses and really trying to identify more properly whether it's like an exchange the burn wallet that kind of a thing and so from safe moon marks website what's being mentioned is that some of the wallet addresses are actually that of like an exchange for example so take a look at this right here we can actually see at the number four position there was two trillion safe moon that was sa uh, sold off from this one account over the last 24 hours. Absolutely insane. So you can actually see looking over here on their account, 229 billion, 450 billion, 1.351 trillion safe moon in a single transaction over 1.3 trillion safe moon. Absolutely insane. They still have, by the way, 13 trillion safe moon left. There's plenty of room for them to still be able to make profits on if this shoots up a ton or if they want to sell off more personally. I want them in the short term to keep selling off more. You may hate hearing that, guys, but I'm looking at the long-term goals on this. Cheaper price, more reflections, bigger volume. Volume is everything in this project right now. I can't stress that enough. Stop focusing on the price and look at volume. You want to hope for anything, hope that the volume goes up. Do that law of attraction. You want more volume if you want this to actually start making big, massive gains and to get you to go where you want to. That's the narrative that you should be focusing on. Not financial advice, though. Anyways, take a look at the top 1,000 wallets for SafeMoon. The barrier of entry is still about the same at 28 billion, 84 million SafeMoon. And uh, no exchange and blockchain at the same time. This is something that Papa has confirmed. We're not going to do massive reveals all at once. No sense in competing launches. Somebody asked if maybe they're going to do the exchange of blockchain release at the same time. He said not at the same time. So just to clarify, you guys shouldn't be expecting to see two major releases at the same time. If you thought maybe like things are going to be too good to be true. Well, and oftentimes is. Attention. Here's the real whale balance, and it is better than you think. So this is what I was talking about before. Shout out to Altruistic Sound 6730 over on the Safe Moon subreddit. They said it is known that Safe Moon Mark has wallets on his page that should not count as a whale. For example, on his whale watch number two, it is the BitMart wallet. Therefore, I wanted to see how large the real whale balance is. I've continued. I've counted wallets with one trillion or more. There are 25 whales. Their total balance right now is 85.7 trillion. Mark's page says 106.6 trillion. That's a dramatic difference. This is approximately, you know, about 21 trillion safe moon difference. <clears throat> the whales total is much smaller than we think. 
the influence on price will soon va vanish. Just hodl true safe moon believers, which is absolutely amazing. So in regards to the owl stuff, further information that's being shared, very interesting here. Check this out. This is the solved mystery of the owl. Safe moon is taking over an already made exchange. Bibby Palm, which I talked more about Bibby Palm yesterday, and you guys should check out that video. And probably their wallet as well and enhancing it to safe moon standards. Owls do not construct nests as such. Instead, they are opportunistic nesters using ready-made sites or taking over the abandoned nests of other birds. Owl species that breed in open terrain are often ground nesters. So I think working in partnership with other projects conserves vastly on time and developmental costs, all kinds of things on the overhead perspective, guys. And I think that this does make a lot of sense and it's something that's pretty bland and basic, but it's in front of us. And from what that description says, it makes a lot of sense because we already see a lot of information that is evidence that Bibby Palm and Safe Moon are basically going to work in conjunction. It's going to streamline that process to create an exchange for us very, very soon. <clears throat> I'll keep you guys posted with everything. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. I got referral links in the description if you guys want to earn free cryptocurrencies or free stocks. And let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments down below. If you're new, please do not forget to hit subscribe. I would love for you to be a part of this community. I also talk about AMC Movie Theater Stock. Feel free to hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out. Share the video on social media, Twitter or Reddit, whatever, if you guys think somebody else would like this. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.